This video is a brief introduction to the components used in assembling a Spectratec plasma tube system. To operate the system, we need a source of frequencies. This may be provided by a digital frequency generator, such as a Progen 2, an F-165, a GB-4000, a Spooky 2, or any standard function generator. Frequencies may also be supplied by an analog signal generator, or more commonly, by a computer running a software program such as FREX-16. Audio signals from other sources may also be used. The digital or audio frequencies are sent to the two inputs of the amplifier through shielded cables. The amplifier inputs are marked A for the audio and B for the digital. The amplifier uses the input frequency to generate a high power 3.1 MHz modulated carrier wave to light the plasma tube. Although any standard Bilcheb plasma tube may be used, the system here shows an SSQST or SSQBAT plasma tube. These tubes require external electrodes which are shown here by the pink bands adjacent to the ends of the tube. The carrier wave with the desired frequencies goes from the amplifier to the plasma tube through a 7 meter length of coaxial cable. Because of the electrical characteristics of the plasma tube, a coupler is used between the coaxial cable and the plasma tube electrodes. A pair of wires, 30 centimeters long, are used between the coupler and the plasma tube electrodes. To supply power to the amplifier, a commercially manufactured power supply may be used, or a power supply may be assembled from several laptop power adapters. The amplifier requires two voltages, 19 volts, usually from a single laptop power adapter, and high voltage, between 75 and 190 volts, depending on the plasma tube. Whatever type of power supply is used, it will normally be supplied by the commercial AC mains service.